Hi guys! Artillery just released the new Genius Pro. This new model is an improved version of the first Genius, and in this video we will go through all the differences between the two models. So if you want to know all the details, just stay tuned. My name is Sandra and welcome to our YouTube channel. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, back in 2019, Artillery released the Genius 3D printer. At that time, we made the assembly and review video of that printer. Now, in 2021, they released the Genius Pro. This new version is the same size and has the same print volume but includes many improvements when compared with the previous one. But let's go through all of them one by one. And we will start with the base. The Genius is equipped with an 8-bit MakerBase Gen L board and 5 silent drivers. While the Genius Pro comes equipped with a 32-bit Ruby board and with 4 silent drivers. The board on the Genius Pro has a much faster microcontroller and it's also easier to flash the firmware. There are also changes on the external MOSFET and heat bed. On both models, the heat bed is AC powered but with the Genius, there's a heat bed for 110 volts and another one for 230 volts. So choosing the correct voltage when ordering the printer was very important. With the Genius Pro, the same heat bed will work on countries that have main voltages of 110 volts and also on countries that have main voltages of 230 volts. And that's because they included this voltage selector at the back. All that is possible with this little box. In it is the selector switch that will change the voltage that goes to the heat bed. And also the MOSFET that will turn it on and off. As for the power supply, it accepts voltages from 100 to 240 volts. As for the display and connectors, both have the same type of touch display and connectors for USB stick and memory card. At the top of the base, we can also see changes on the heat bed cable. The Genius Pro has a much nicer heat bed cable and the base includes a slot almost like a cable track. The connection between the base and the top half is the same type on both models. But on the Genius Pro, the screws that secure the top half to the base come already installed and don't fall out. On the print head, there are also some changes. Both have a direct drive system with a Titan type extruder and a Volcano hotend. On the Genius, there's a small RGB LED next to the nozzle, while on the Genius Pro, there's a touch sensor instead, which in other words, the Genius is not equipped with a leveling sensor and the leveling must be done manually. While the Genius Pro is equipped with an auto level sensor. Together with the leveling sensor, Artillery also included the cable for an end stop switch installation in case someone wants to install one instead. At the right of the print head, there is a small white LED that provides a little bit of light. Both are equipped with flat cables to connect all the components from the print head and X-axis stepper motor to the base. However, the Genius Pro now comes with strain relief on the flat cables to secure them in place and this way keep them from being disconnected with vibrations and movement. The back of the X gantry is also different. 
On the Genius, we have these plastic Z carriages, which do not allow adjustments on the wheel's grip. Not being able to adjust the wheel's grip is a negative point, so with the Genius Pro, this was changed. The new Z carriages are made from metal, and the wheel's grip adjustment can be done by turning this set screw. Both models are equipped with a couple of Z stepper motors and lead screws, and they are synced with the timing belt at the top. Also at the top, both have a filament runout sensor. One other difference is with the filament spool holder. The spool holder of the Genius is basically these two metal plates with bearings, and one of the plates can move sideways so that we can use filament spools with different sizes. On the new Genius Pro, the plates are not adjustable, so we are limited on the spool size. And the bearings were replaced with these two rollers that are secured to the two plates. About the assembly, the steps are the same for both models, and it's very fast and easy. Just attach the top half to the bottom half, tighten the four screws under the base, connect a few cables, and then install the spool holder at the top. That's it. Last but not least is the price difference. On Artillery's website, and at the moment, the Genius costs 269 US dollars, while the Genius Pro costs 339 US dollars. Okay, these are all the differences between the Genius and the Genius Pro. Stay tuned to our channel as we will publish the detailed installation of the Pro very soon. And that's it you guys, we hope you liked the video and if yes, please don't forget to give it a like. We will see you guys next time. Bye!